Blount County District Attorney Pamela Casey, a mother of two young children, fights back tears as she reveals details about a two-year-old boy dying in a hot car, an unfortunate case becoming too common across the country. It's awful when it happens anywhere. It's awful when you have to work these cases and then you go home to your babies and you see what you see in, in videos and uh, it's awful. My heart breaks for this family. Tuesday afternoon, Blunt County Sheriff deputies were called to a daycare on Highway 75. They found two-year-old Ian Wiseman dead in the back seat of his grandfather, William Heisman's truck. On three different occasions, he was back in the truck, um, drove in the truck with a child in the back. Um, as you'll see from the affidavit, that car seat was uh, forward facing. In an affidavit, police say Wiseman insisted he dropped the child off at the daycare before going to work. But investigators say it didn't happen after picking his grandson up from his daughter's home Tuesday morning at 7.55. Court documents say at 1245, Wiseman told police he left work to go home for his lunch break. He went back to work around 1.45. An hour later, Wiseman gets a call from his daughter asking where is Ian because the daycare stated he had not been there all day. Wiseman got back in his truck, drove to the daycare, and around 2.55 is when the child's aunt found the two-year-old boy dead in the back seat. As a result of his behavior and his acts, the child died um, uh, from a prolonged exposure to heat. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.